Hello everybody. I got some good stuff to show y'all today. Now this is the very next day after I made the antenna yesterday. I went back and got me a plan together. I wasn't satisfied with the way I put this antenna together the other day. Now yours don't have to be perfect, but you know mine has to be pretty good because I'm showing you. I'm fitting to pull that back apart and I'm going to show you some alternatives to how this is made. Just a couple little slight things. Now the other day, whenever I, or yesterday, when I done this, I didn't tell you to flatten your whisker tips. I did put a note on there to do it. I say I done mine, but I wasn't filming when I done it. But uh, that's flattened out there. There's good reason for that. I'll, if I can remember, I'll tell you why. But the pros already know. <laughs> now they they wasn't really but one big problem with this antenna that that what I didn't like. Uh, this right here. You know, I told you on that other video, if you hadn't seen part one of this, how to make a TV antenna out of nothing, go back and look at this, and I go over a lot of stuff that I'm not going to go over today. But this right here is just, it needs more. And I sat in last night, and I made me some pieces, you know, for to go here. Now, I'm going I'm to trim these up, but I was just going to show you that I sat down and cut me a few pieces out and glued them together. And uh, instead of this little flimsy one piece, I'm going to have a thicker piece. And that'll, that'll steady this up because this really needs to be the screw that goes in that holds this. It really needs to be tight. Because we, you know, there's not going to be no soldering. Now, see, I've done something like this before. See these, uh, I can't tell how many pieces of plywood it is. But see how I made this, uh, transom for this motor? I think it's three pieces of three-quarter inch plywood. Man, you couldn't break that with a bulldozer. But that's where I got the idea from is... I already had the idea. <laughs> and I filmed this the other day, but the camera wasn't filming. But what I was telling you about it is you can buy an antenna online that looks like this. But it ain't the same as this. There's a difference in this antenna and one that you buy online. This antenna right here was spanked one that looks like this online. You say, well, he's just saying that because he made it. I ain't neither. <laughs> this antenna right here will beat the ones you see online. Here's my little pieces I had. I cleaned them up a little bit. Uh, you know, they didn't even have to be cleaned up. You could just uh, glue yours. And, and I didn't know, uh, I didn't tell you the measurement on these the other day, but this is about, uh, two and a quarter, two and a quarter. It really don't matter, as long as it ain't too short. Last night, I was looking at my video to make sure there wasn't no flaws in it. And sometimes you upload and they'll have a flaw in it. And I seen a video I ain't never seen before about antennas. I said, oh, here we go. It was very hard to watch. I'm going to show you this antenna that this man made. And I want you to be thinking about it while I'm looking at it. Uh, while I'm working. And I want you to be thinking about what's wrong with this antenna. What do you see that you know is wrong? And then I'm going to tell you later on in the video what's wrong with that antenna. All right, see these? Man, don't you know that's better? Remember I, remember I told y'all the other day this needs to be cleaned up. 
I just took it and cleaned it up some with some sandpaper. Good and shiny now. I got in a hurry the other day because I, I was wanting to get all that in one video. What I mean is I was wanting to get the test and everything all in one video. I'm going to do just like I done the other day. I'm going to screw these down a little ways. The man that's got the video, he's an amateur. He's definitely an amateur. I don't mind slapping his face too much because he slapped somebody else's face showing their messed up antenna and who... Whose antenna he showed was a beginner too. Hell, they all beginners. And when I done this the other day, yesterday, I didn't, when I was doing it, I didn't like it at all. And, uh, anyway, you know, I got these pieces right here like to go across and you know about that. Okay, if this right here is giving you a hard time, you can take a piece of wire, like uh, maybe 10 gauge wire, and just wrap it around this, skin it back a little bit, and leave the coating on it, and, and uh, just wrap the wire around this, and you know most wire is copper. And I, I tell you kind of what I got a problem about, about the, the copper is, is it's all right if it's soldered. I think it's all right if it's soldered. I know it's all right if it's soldered. You know how the Statue of Liberty, the Statue of Liberty, one time was shiny copper. And you know what it looks like now. And copper does that. So that's why I was kind of wanting to stay away from the wire. But if you use the wire, you can always do the trick by right is wiggle your whisper. Now this is one of the things that I really didn't like the other day. When I put it together... Because this is under this end, it makes it swoop down in the front. Okay. And then, see, you can bend it. Uh, but you couldn't bend it too good with that little flimsy uh, plate that I had on there the other day. See, I just bent this. I just bent this and flat. And, uh... But there's, there's two things you can do. You can either bend this, bend this where it turns up flat, or you can flatten you out an extra piece like this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I've run into this before, a long time ago. I'm going to release that soon. And uh, naturally, you know, you would snip it. Can't say the C-U-T word. But I would just put it under there to like hold it up. Let's see how that does. And see, it's still it's still down a little bit. So it it might would be something that you would have to mess with and you're supposed to be out here having fun. But anyway, if you build your plates good and tight like I did, probably the best thing to do. It's just bend it like, like I did this. I, I, when I put them ultimate antennas together, I had to bend these up and down. Every one I make. Uh, you know, it's, they, every one's different. And actually, when I done that just then, I don't think it was as bad as I thought because I think I had this one pushed up too far, too high. Anyway, you just had to kind of mess with it like that right there. Then here's my transformer. Y'all make sure that if you hadn't seen the part one of this, you might want to look at it because I'm, there's a lot of stuff that I ain't saying on this and that I said on the other. And remember, if you watched the other, I was only joking. <laughs> now see, this this wire right here is okay, but that, that big wire right there, it's kind of hard to work with, and uh, you know, I'm going to do it no matter what it takes. But anyway, just you can use that little copper wire if you want to. Just uh, just put something. If you do use the copper wire, I wouldn't lay them on top of one another. Even with the coating on it, I wouldn't lay them. I would, I would separate it some with some tape or something. You know, I mean, a pretty good thick amount of of tape 
separating the two. Where they cross at. You know, when you're out, when you're out here and you working and you talking, it's harder to make a video than you think. That boy that made that video, that man that made that video, I'm showing you the picture of. He he sat there and talked all about it. He wasn't actually doing nothing, but just standing there talk, 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 talk. Now I was going to show you this. I was looking at it in there a while ago. This right here on video, it looks rough. But I've actually, you see that, you see the tip of my finger right there. It's separated more than it looks like. And I figured out that that's what makes this so hard to work with. You can't work with it like you can that copper. You have to sort of make all your bins and do all your stuff before you put it on there. So I reckon I'll throw that in. And I was reading under the comments under that man's video. Man, y'all was chapping him under the comments. <laughs> Matter of fact, I seen some of y'all that comment on mine, commenting on his. And y'all was telling him stuff that I, I, I bet, I bet $100 y'all know more than what that man did that was showing you how to make an antenna. And see, these whiskers right here, they 10 inches. He had 7 inch whiskers. And uh, y'all, I've tried that. Seven inch whiskers will pick up, but ten will pick up better. And here's my reflector. I had a piece of this siding, but uh, this right here is what you'll be using the actual sign. And I'll show you the reason I ain't using it. See how see how bent it is. So I just went and picked this up. And this has already got aluminum foil on there, but I'm gonna put it on there just for the video. I want to show you this right. I'm going to show you a video that I've caught more heat about it than any than any video I ever made. Like people talking about I was lying and stuff. <laughs> uh, sometimes I laugh. Can you see this little antenna right here? That's one of them little HD antennas, and I had it out here in the front yard. And, <laughs> and I, you know, I was making a video, but I was just kind of fooling around. And I put a booster on this thing, and uh, man, it made a big old difference. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't know if a booster might burn it up or what, but boy, I've caught more people talking about I was lying and and clickbait and all kind of stuff. But uh, <laughs> that little thing works. It won't work as good as uh, it won't work as good as the one we making here. I mean, not near about as good. But, but uh. <laughs> if you were, if you were in five miles of the TV towers, don't be afraid to get that right there, cause it works. And another thing too, remember the other day I told y'all put aluminum foil on both sides. You really ain't got to put aluminum foil on both sides. Uh, you can if you want to, but one side is enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray a little bit of uh, glue on here. And uh, here's my tin foil. Hey, and y'all mean? You see what I'm doing right here? I like turning into a nervous wreck. If you need to, go get your wife, man. She'll come out there and do that with the most patience that you ever seen. Woman's more patient than a man. Boy, how's that for a cheap reflector? And when, i tell you a little tip. You, you won't you know, I give you a measurement the other day on this. But you you want your you want your reflector bigger than what you don't want your wires overhanging is what I'm trying to say. See that? And if you're real close in the, if you if you're pretty close to the TV towers, you might not even need that reflector. Hey, I'm not sure if I said it. You can put a booster on this right here. 
if you need to. You know, like if you want to reach on out further. I tell you what my opinion about a, a booster. I, let's just say you got a t your TV antenna 10 foot high off the ground, 10 foot high. Uh, I think a booster is a booster will like add it to like where it's 30 foot off the ground. That booster makes a lot of difference. Let me measure this and, and see. Hey, boy, that's the perfect amount. Hey, I, we got lucky. Now, well, uh, in between about three and three quarters and four, y'all, I've, I've tested this stuff. You know, I got a little screen that I made that I could slide back and forth, and I spent hours and hours moving that thing in and moving it out. That's the reason I know, like, what the perfect measurement is. I've been doing it. And, even, and, and like even as many antennas as I've made, I always make sure, I always look at this, and I look at this, and I look at, the, well, I don't have to look at the size because my cage wire's got a center wire. But I always make sure that it's, that it's good all the way around. And uh, I'm going to mark this. Okay, and y'all, I want to say something. I don't mind the other people making videos. I mean, I really don't. But what, I'm somebody that... I don't want nobody telling me something unless they know what they're talking. I don't want nobody just talking to be talking. I, well, I don't mind them talking to be talking, but if they telling me something... I want them to know what they're talking about. And that man, he watched, he watched somebody's video, multiple videos, and then he decided he was going to make the best video on YouTube. You can listen to that smooth talking he was doing. Hey, there it is, y'all. Finally finished. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this thing, and, and uh, we're going to take it up there to the church land. We're going to see what this thing will do. I'm not sure if I said it, I might have did. You can put a booster on this if you need to. I'm going to go in the house. I'm waiting for it to get dark. I'm going to show you what's wrong with this man's video. All right, y'all. You see this antenna right here? I've already made that antenna that that man's making. You know, I'm, he might have seen my video. I mean, I really don't know. But he's got a, he put a VHF in the center of his antenna. And see, I got the VHF up top. Now, here's what the problem is with his antenna. And I had to look at the whole video to, to make sure, you know, I wasn't talking out of turn. You can't have the VHF and the UHF on the same wire. Now, I know most of you know that just from watching my videos, but it, it won't work. Uh, well, let me put last right here. It'll, neither one will pick up good. The VHF will interfere with the UHF, the UHF will interfere with the VH, so on and so forth. I've done, ha I've done man, I've done that, I bet you, three or four years ago. And, uh, you know, it seems like it would work, but that, that VHF and UHF, it has to be separated. You know, you have, to, you know, a, a, a RCA booster has got a, a separate input for the UHF and a separate input for the VHF. Or you can just simply get one of them uh, UHF, VHF. They call it a combiner. Uh, but it puts it, in other words, you would have two transformers and uh, two wires, and it'll be separating, and then that right there uh, works good, and the man done a good job on the antenna. He didn't sit here and show you how to build it. Uh, he would just had it laying on the table, and he would do stuff off a of camera, and he'd come back and say, okay, here's what I got. Now, he had his, he had his uh, whiskers short, 
And, uh, you know, I, it'll pick up, the, the antenna will pick up with short whiskers, but long whiskers makes a difference. I'm sitting here waiting for it to get dark uh, uh, or, you know, get later on in the evening. We're going to take this antenna up there and we're going to see what it'll do. Okay, y'all, I'm out here in the, on the church land. It's been a while since I've been up here. And uh, I done been messing with it a little bit, but I'm going to show you. Uh, I wish I'd have brung a pole where I could have got away from this truck. But I'm going to give you the lowdown here. This tray right here is making. And it's 60 miles away. And there's four power lines on that. Them power lines right here, there's four of them. And uh, that's why I say I wish I'd have brung a taller pole and uh, where I could have got a better chance. Because this right here is head high. You, well, you see my truck right there. I want to show you this. These are the pieces that I used to make this right here. It's, it's seven of them, and, and all, all I done is just cut up. Uh, can't say that. All I done is just trim them out and stack them on top of one another and glued them and set a book on them overnight. And that's what that is. Works out pretty good. I'm waiting for the light to go down a little bit more, you know, where you can see the computer screen. And uh, it might look like it's about dark out here, and it is starting, to, you know, starting. But it, this stuff right here, a computer screen, it's like looking at a phone when you're outside in the sun. Uh, that camera just won't hardly pick it up. Okay, I'm going to wait probably about five more minutes, and then I'm going to do a channel scan. We're going to see what it's going to do. I'll show you this while I'm waiting. I got my computer sitting right here on the back of my toolbox. And, you know, that I remember that I intended don't pick up real good upside the truck. Uh, or close to that truck. I mean, it's too late now. I ain't going home and getting no longer coax and all that. We're just going to try it like this right here. Keep in mind, this is 60 miles away. Here's the antenna from the back side. I remember something I was going to tell y'all. You know, so far, you've got what the transformer costs on this thing. If you order it off the line, you can get one for a dollar or a dollar and a half. But that's how much money that I've got in that antenna right there. Uh, and this is what I was going to tell you about the wood. You can go to you can go to the big home store. You know what I'm talking about, the owner's store. And inside their store, they got little trash cans, barrels, standing around. And they take wood and stick it down in there. And I've, <laughs> I've got that wood out before. I mean, they don't mind you getting it, you know. I've asked them, could I get it? And, Man, I don't remember what I was doing, but <laughs> I'm, sometimes I'm kind of a scrapper like that, me being rich and all. You wouldn't think I'd be doing that. But there's your free wood. You know, just remember, your, your, uh, it don't matter what, what kind of wood you use, you just uh, remember to put your reflector uh, three and three quarters to four inches away from your whiskers. Hey, y'all, uh, you know, I do kind of miss this uh, this was kind of fun whenever I was learning and getting out there. You know, I didn't learn by nobody, you know. Got out there and learned it myself. I'm, yeah, everybody, everybody goes crazy when they see this software I got. And uh, if I can remember, I'll try to... I'll try to uh, put on there what it is. Okay, here's my channels. And what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to click select all and right click again and click delete. And I'm getting rid of the channels that, that it had on there. You go right here to device and that's what I'm using right there. You can have different ones. You know, I've got two of them things, you know. I'm going to click tuner set up and I'll put this in front of the camera. Y'all, that camera's a pain. I'm going to click the, the first one there. Digital, whatever it is. 
I'm going to click next. And now we're scanning for channels. Hey, y'all, why this thing is scanning for channels? I'll show you here. Still, still right here in the same spot. Why this thing is scanning for channels? I was watching some people the other night. Uh, making some, making a roofing video. And these, and, you know, showing you how to do it. And these wasn't dumb people by no means. They was very smart. They just don't tell them what they really done for a living. But they wasn't roofers. <laughs> and, you know, that's what I done for a living. And they was up there tearing off with a pitchfork. And the pitchfork was tearing the shingles off. They wasn't no problem about that. But it, a pitchfork won't get the tax. You know, if you use a flat shovel, it'll get the tax and everything as you go. And whenever they got through, man, they had a million tax in the roof that they had to go pull up one at a time. <laughs> Hey, and that was a trip. A lot of times, I, you know, I told you I don't really watch TV that much, but I listen to it. A lot of times, I listen to the TV and watch YouTube with it on, uh, you know, laying on the couch. I watch YouTube with it on, uh, you know, with the volume turned down. I can, but I can keep up with what's going on. Hey, that scan's complete. I was sitting here, man, that, hey, there's an Augusta channel. That, see that 6.1 and 2 and 3, that's Augusta. And 6.4. Uh, let me tell you something. I don't know why, but if, I, if you watch YouTube as much as I do, I don't know why people don't kind of do their profession. Like, I ain't never done no roofing videos. And them people, they, I don't know what their profession was, but they wasn't, uh, they wasn't uh, roofers neither. But anyway, you see a lot of you see a lot of amateur people uh, making videos about something else. That's just kind of something I ain't never understood. Hey, that man, that little thing got a gust, and it ain't even pointing that way. I just turn it to the channel. And see right there, it says tuning. I probably need uh, I probably need to upgrade my software. I'm gonna turn it down because that ain't important. Okay, I, here's my uh, here's my signal meter. Hey, that's wide open. That's that 27 right there is wide open. Now I hadn't uh, I ain't never seen that meter go over 27, and I've put uh, antennas up like 30 miles from Macon before, I, and it's always on 27. Hey, I'll, I'll kind of go through it and see. Look here, and you know that's me TV, you know. Let's see what else it got. Hey, I need to go to that. Hey, that's Augusta there. Let's see if it, let's see what it does. See that six point one? That's Augusta. Hey, it. The scan picked it up, but it might not be coming in. I might uh. I tell you what I'm gonna do. Be still. Be still. You hold on right there. You look at that TV. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn the antenna around that way. See if we can make it come in. All right, I know you can't see me, but I'm turning it. Hey, it mate. Yeah, it's coming in. How about that? <laughs> How about that, there? You think you think that antenna ain't bad to the ball? Hey, I'm telling you, that, and that's a uh, August. Okay, let's let's get back to it. I'm I'm gonna turn it around back the other way toward making. Alright, it's fitting to go off now. Fitting to go off. And y'all know what? I drove down here with that on my truck. It's still trying to pick up that Augusta. Let's go on a little further. Hey, y'all, you know, I ain't even got to show you no more. You, you see it's bad to the bone. And I'm going to tell y'all what I got coming up on my next video. Get my meter back up here. I'll tell you what's coming up on my next video. Y'all remember I showed y'all I bought some, uh, a couple of antennas. 
And uh, I reckon that's probably what I'm going to be doing next. I want to make a video about them people doing that roofing. <laughs> that's what I want to do. But I got to kind of stick with my crowd, you know. But uh, here it is. I'll turn it up now. Just shut up, Glenn. Hey, y'all. Hey, a dollar and a half and ten. You find somebody that beats that. I'm going on through the channels here. Here's a Georgia public TV. I, you know, I might have said it a minute ago. I seen it get a channel that I ain't never even seen. Uh, that right there. That 31.1. I don't. I've never seen that channel, which is kind of, they don't tell me how far off it is, but it's, you see it's froze, and the signal's on 12. I'll go on to the next. I ain't never seen that channel pop up before. Hey, man, could you imagine if this thing was up in the air? That's TV 35. Now, that's a, that's a channel that we got into and see what the signal strength is. It ain't. They don't. They have thirty thousand watts, and that's the reason that man right there that owns that TV station. He's the one that bought my first antenna. He had see. He had a satellite, and he could. There, that channel ain't on the satellite. He bought an antenna from me, so he could watch his channel. And uh, he said, "Man." You know, I put it up. He got every channel. He said, man, we ought to make you a commercial. And then that's the man that you see that's like, uh, I got some kind of video about him. I think that's where everybody gets my phone number from. I, and see, that's a real tough channel right here. That's channel 41. You know, I told you that's the weakest channel we got. Four, four, 400,000 kilowatts. But it, no, it, a man corrected me about this. It ain't 400,000 kilowatts. It's 400,000 watts. But I don't know why I always stick that kilowatts on there. Hey, right, there you go, y'all. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't, remember, don't forget to hit that bell. We'll see you next time. Y'all take it easy.